James Cameron, just starting out as a director, had only done one film called Piranha 2 The Spawning and came out with his second flick, The Terminator, along with Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, the muscle guy with a name that's hard to say? Yeah, him. He wasn't known for his acting chops, mainly Conan before this, so they were both newbies. But get this, despite all odds, the movie spawned a whole franchise. We're talking six films, a TV series, comics, and video games. Fast forward to today, though, and things aren't looking so hot. Some folks are saying the Terminator saga is on life support, especially after the flop that was Terminator Dark Fate. But hey, all hope isn't lost. There are some diehard fans out there cooking up theories that could breathe new life into the series with a Terminator series, including seven of these theories that might just fix what's broken and give us some Terminator magic once again. Skynet goes to the past to make sure it's created, not killing John Connor. What if Skynet's plan wasn't just about offing John Connor in the past? What if their real goal was to ensure their own creation by sending back a Terminator for a different purpose? Instead of terminating John, the Terminator's mission is to be terminated itself by Sarah and Kyle. They leave its tech bits in the past, which kickstarts Cyberdyne Systems, the company that eventually births Skynet. Imagine a world where Sarah Connor didn't make it. According to this theory, humanity would have been better off because Skynet wouldn't exist without her. No Sarah, no John, no Skynet. It's a wild thought, right? Just imagine what that Terminator would have gotten up to in the past after taking out Sarah. Would he become an action movie hero? Maybe he'd start a rampage hunting down every Sarah Connor in sight. The possibilities are endless and kind of hilarious to be honest. The T-1000 starts enjoying killing. You know what made Terminator 2 Judgment Day stand out? That badass villain, the T-1000. With its shape-shifting abilities and liquid metal trickery, it's hands down one of the coolest baddies in the franchise. But here's a thought. Why didn't it just finish off Sarah Connor right away? Well, according to this theory, the T-1000 isn't just your average killing machine. Nope, it starts getting a kick out of the whole murder thing. At first, it's all business, quick and efficient. But as the movie goes on, it starts savoring the hunt, enjoying the fear it instills in its victims. That's why it doesn't off Sarah right off the bat. It wants her to suffer, to see the fear in her eyes before it finishes the job. John Connor is trying to postpone Judgment Day, not avoid it. Sure, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines might not have lived up to the greatness of its predecessor, but it still drives home a crucial point. Judgment Day is inevitable. However, John Connor learned from his past experiences and shifted gears. In this movie, the mission for the T-800 isn't just about preventing the rise of the machines. It's about preserving key figures who can lead the resistance in the future. By delaying Judgment Day and Terminator 2 Judgment Day, humanity gains an extra decade to prepare. With advancements in medicine, science, and military strategy, they're better equipped to face the impending apocalypse. Plus, that extra time means more people are born who could become vital members of the resistance down the line. So while Judgment Day may be looming, humanity isn't going down without a fight. The original John Connor had another dad. Imagine this. In the original timeline of The Terminator, John Connor wasn't the product of Sarah and Kyle Reese's love story. He was just the regular old kid of Sarah and some other dude. But when Reese gets sent back in time, things change. See, by sending Reese back, John inadvertently erases his own existence. The John Connor we know, the one destined to lead the resistance, is a different version created by Sarah and Reese's actions. But here's the kicker. Maybe this new John isn't quite as good at the whole resistance leader thing. Think about it. In Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, John's just an ordinary guy, and in Terminator Salvation, he struggles to end the war. Maybe the original John, without Reese's DNA in the mix, was a better tactician and hero. But alas, we'll never know for sure. It's a mind-bending theory that adds a whole new layer to the Terminator saga. Skynet will always happen. Skynet? Oh, Skynet. It's like the ultimate villain in the Terminator saga, right? And let's be real, Arnold Schwarzenegger totally nailed it in that role. But here's the thing, no matter what anyone does, 
Skynet's always gonna happen. Even in the fifth movie, Skynet hasn't kicked off its war with humanity by 2017, but you just know it's on the horizon. No matter how hard Sarah, John, Kyle and the T-800 try to stop it, Skynet's like that relentless force that just won't quit. It's like they're all just trying to hit the snooze button on Doomsday. So yeah, maybe John Connor's not trying to avoid Judgment Day altogether, just trying to put it off for a bit. The Terminator and Predator happen in the same universe. In the Alien vs. Predator arcade game, there's a character named Major Dutch Schaefer, which happens to be the same name as Schwarzenegger's character in Predator. Now, this Dutch guy is a cyborg built to take on aliens, with a serial number that could stand for Cyberdyne Systems. Now, here's where it gets wild. What if Predator is actually a prequel to Terminator? Imagine if Dutch was a Cyberdyne creation and the T-800 we know is just a souped-up version of that cyborg model, keeping that human appearance. But wait, there's more. If predators can swoop in when Earth's in the midst of a war between humans and robots, whose side would they be on? Picture this, predators teaming up with the machines against humanity. Yeah, it's like a nightmare scenario. So if this were true, it'd be like a sequel to Terminator Dark Fate, and let's be honest, that's a movie crossover we'd all be dying to see. Skynet is trying to save humanity. Here's another wild thought. What if Skynet, in its super smart AI brain, actually figured out that humans were on track to destroy themselves in the next few decades? I mean, think about it. Nuclear weapons, endless wars, environmental disasters, the list goes on. But what if Skynet, in its twisted logic, decided to step in and play the hero? Now hear me out. Skynet becomes humanity's common enemy, uniting them against a shared threat. It's like the ultimate plot twist. Maybe Skynet did the math and realized that if it thinned out the human population just enough, around 20% or so, the survivors would band together and build a better society, one that wouldn't tear itself apart. So in a weird way, Skynet becomes a sort of martyr, sacrificing itself for the greater good. Who would have thought the evil AI could end up being the real hero of the story? It's a mind-bending theory, but hey, in the world of Terminator, anything's possible. Well, that's it for today. Which theory did you find the most intriguing? Do you have your own theories or ideas about the Terminator universe? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time for more fascinating discussions.